Welcome to Beer Goggles episode two, 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 two. So weird, dude. <laughs> It'll probably be published on Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Of course it will. Excellent. How are you, sir? Just fantastical. How are you? <laughs> fantastical. Just for to clear anything up, we're in the same room. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yes. There's been some so debacle. Some, debacle. some debacle. Some right, debacle. Right, right. Yeah, so. It's been interesting. Before we proceed, uh, I'd like to address the elephant in the room. How as to, I, I lost a lot of weight. A lot. So how There is an start? elephant in the room, and I'd like to know the whereabouts of the beard of Checkmark. Hmm. This beard? Yes, it's been <laughs> vastly reduced. The, the, the private version of KGB come after me, so I must be incognito. Uh -oh. Well, thank you for saying checkmark on the show. Because <laughs> now they can go backwards through IP address and find my my location. You're welcome. So I'm a big fan of checkmark. Very, very much. Well, what's crazy is I lost like a lot of beard crumbs from my food, <laughs> but a lot of conspiracies just drifted away. Yeah, as well. I'm concerned about the the conspiracies. We're not going to be able to talk about. Well, we were going to do that. Didn't we have like twenty? We were going to talk about well, on the next show, three. and now we have six. <laughs> so we. <laughs> We've cut it into a quarter, by a third. So, yeah. Well, that. thank you, sir. I lost like 15 pounds. I feel great. That's a wow. Yeah. Jenny Craig would be so happy. Well, I don't know if you know this, but gray hair is heavier, much more dense. I had no idea. Because, yeah. well, but the lightest is no hair, so don't worry about it. <laughs> thank you. You stick. So, so we were asked to do this because we've talked about this multiple times, and we've had run-ins with people. Going to certain things. Events. Certain whatnot, Correct, sir. Right? So, do you want to let us know what we're talking about today? I would love to. We have two topics. One should be pretty brief, and the second should be a little more lengthy. Not like last time. Not that <laughs> lengthy, because we are the king of tangents. Uh, the first is uh, the rules of what to wear at a rock concert, and the second are the rules of allowable attire at sporting events. So the first, I believe, started at a show I was attending in Nashville in 2007, where I was at the back of a sh small little stage at a metal show and waiting for the main guys to come on. There was some opening band up there, and I'm back there with a dad, and his 14-year-old kid was in the pit trying not to get killed, and he was wearing a pink polo shirt with the collar turned up. And he flipped the collar? He flipped the collar. He didn't have four pop collars, did he? <laughs> just a single pop collar? One. A single pop. One collar. You have a single pop, sir. <laughs> and I thought to myself, n n no. <laughs> Not a okay. Time out. First of all, rule number one of a rock show, black. You have to wear black. There's no, there's no, there's no exception to that. No? You're at a, you're at a rock show. It's slimming. Yeah. Hey. Who doesn't want that? It allows you to creep up behind people because <laughs> it's dark usually at a show. I, yes. Also, not I, in my top ten list. Well, I didn't sure. say black ski mask <laughs> mandatory. I just said black outfit, black clothing. Of right? course. Um, the pit, you know, dark on dark. You know, you get sweaty pits. It's not as pronounced. Correct. If I had a light blue shirt at a concert and I lift my arms, I got taco arms. That's bad. It's like navy blue on 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 uh, Tiffany blue. That's disgusting. That is that is uncalled for, sir. I would agree. And all all black is is more black on black, just more black, like black and like more black. Correct. Can't go wrong. Exactly. That's the whole point. Is that you're at a you're at a rock show. Why? What are you doing? You're wearing. Why are you wearing a pink shirt? Things are going to be spilled. Oh, they definitely. That's going to happen. Things are going to be. That, <laughs> yes, there is. Things might. Other yes, places? There's some vomiting from time to time. There's Me a too. lot of bodily fluid exchange. <laughs> there, there or is just release. It's excessive uh, beer good. consumption, yes. which does lead to vomiting. It's Even urination okay. at times. You got splashback? Oh, it's not. Yeah. Especially Let's when everybody's on the trough. That subject. Oh, God, dear. <laughs> Anybody ever been to Philly? When they run out of trough space, they use the sinks, just so you know. No. Welcome to Philadelphia. Okay, let's Thank not let's talk about people. Okay, anyway, next. So, black. first rule is black. Does anybody have a problem with that? Leave a comment. If you think pink is the only color you should be wearing a rock concert, like pop collar over here. <laughs> not, not over here, but the other guy. Not okay. Not okay. So, so this gentleman violated two rules at the same time. Which the rule? What's the other one? The second rule is 
no collared shirts. Collared You're at a rock shirts. show. Do, do, no. Too much to grab onto. Not even at a Rush concert should you be wearing a collared shirt. Extra. Well, extra yeah. handle. That Just, is dangerous when you're among strangers, sir. <laughs> I'm not going to argue <laughs> with, with that. It's Puzzle sh- looks not so cool. Of course. It's, I mean, popped. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a sight, and it made me start to think of, what in the hell is this guy doing? It's not okay. What in the hell? I tell you what. <laughs> Damn the clean. It was not, I still, um, it's, the guy's image is burned in my mind. So that's how it all started. N- can you tell me the concert itself, the name? Uh, the, 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 the headline band was All That Remains. Okay. And it was before they started to suck excessively. Is that when they became preppy pop collar culture? Uh, they, or? A couple albums after that, they really went downhill, mm. like badly. So this is when they were very... Still good. going uphill. Yeah, I think the album after that, they... And I stopped following them. But they were great for a couple albums. That I works. thought, anyway. So. You, always, you always forget your... Yeah, of course. In the first two albums, they never play anymore, so I don't... I have no oh, idea what yeah. they're doing anymore. That's okay. They're entitled to do whatever they want, and that's cool. If I may... Sure. As a quick tangent, and we, we had talked about naming this tangents. <laughs> <laughs> what a great fucking name. It was a really You're good welcome. name. You're welcome. Thank you. It's excellent. Um, but Ray LaMontagne, I went to a Ray LaMontagne concert. Sure. That motherfucker doesn't play any of his shit that you know. He only plays, like, his album, and he's about as entertaining on stage as, like, watching my paint dry on the walls of my house after I paint it. It's pretty bad. Wow. He just, he refuses to play, like, to give in to, like, hey, play your hit. Well, that's what got you there, bro. No offense, bro. That's what got you there. Play it. Just play it for people who want to hear it. That was my tangent. I'm back. I'm back. Okay. Check mark. No like Raymond. <laughs> Ray Lamont, Lamont for, first of all, I can't even say his name. Ray Lamontagne? Lamontagne. Something like Did that. Did check mark get a refund from this said <laughs> concert? No, no refunds. No. Say In rubles? <laughs> Rupees. <laughs> Not rubles. None? No, the euro. The euro. We okay. the euro back. We, yeah. Look, we are very, very advanced American civilization. We are very, very American advanced civilization. Non-American civilization. I, I apologize. My English not so strong. Sometimes. But we, we just got quarter, te- quarter telephone. Oh, yeah. With extra long cord. I can walk around entire uh, Cossack with it. <laughs> big I ap- think that's apartment. Big apartment? No. Small. But, but I can walk around it. Yeah, so it's almost wireless. Well, yes. <laughs> Cause Cause it's, it's mobile. <laughs> it's a hundred. Okay, we, it's a hundred foot line quarter. <laughs> back. All right. That was ridiculous. Here, Jesus. That's the okay, second so rule. No collars. No collared shirts. Black. Black. No collared shirts. No collared shirts. No collared shirts. Boom. Done. That's two. I'm Third rule. No tucked in shirts. I seen dudes wearing an Iron Maiden shirt tucked in. Why? Stop it. What? What? There should be a law against that. Not even a rule. <laughs> I'm going to write Congress right now. Why? Dear sir. <laughs> Tell me the purpose for the tuck in in the first place. Do you think I know, man? <laughs> okay. God. To all you granddad guys or dad people, what are they? Dad bod, whatever peoples that do this? What are they, 34 year olds? What do what they do? Who, who does this? Who tucks in? Yeah. Um, Is it an age? Is it an age thing? A little bit. Uh, I've seen it all over the board. I, I haven't seen it probably under the age of 40. <laughs> no, okay, so let's just okay, stop. Okay, so That's over the board, I apologize. That's, That's an incorrect, yeah. I apologize. incorrect statement. It's That's probably 40. Over the and, board over 40. Yeah, I, that's, I, I, was, I, oh, fuck. Redact? Are you going to stop talking now? Over 40. Go. There's your dad bod comment, bro. All right, bro. Teddy Bruce. Okay, so 40-year-olds who tuck at a concert. And over. So and that goes all the way up to the 60s, you know. Okay. okay. What's the next rule, sir? The Dude, after No tuck in? Jesus. Fuck the tuck. That's what I... I'm going to get a t-shirt untucked. It's just going to read fuck the tuck. I can't... Sure. I get nothing. It's like seven up yours. Make seven up yours? Heads up, seven up. 
No, it makes seven, and then on the back it reads up yours, and you're like, what? You said up yours, bro? <laughs> uh, no, bro, it makes seven up yours. Some hostility there, dude. I think so. Well, it's a popped collar, bro. Okay. Pop collar syndrome. I'm ready to get in a frat boy fight. <laughs> bro. But I'm three pop collars short. God, that was so stupid. The two polo shirts. I saw four. Remember the four? I know I don't. Yeah, I there's think a, there's two a is the meme most out there. I ever saw. It's awful. Okay, so, so moving along, we're gonna wrap. No collared, no tuck. Correct, sir. Fourth rule of the rock concert is you're not allowed to wear, which this could be controversial to some people, but I believe I'm. I'm. This is my thing. You're not allowed to wear a shirt of the band you're going to see. Agreed, one hundred percent. Unless you buy the shirt the day of the show. Yes. That that should actually be rule number one. If I may, from Jer- if I may, quote, may, Jeremy Piven once brilliantly said in PCU, "What's that? <laughs> You're wearing that to the show. Don't wear the band or don't wear the shirt. The band you're going to see at the show. I don't be that guy. I guess I forgot that scene. Don't be that guy. It wasn't that that shaped it. I had this philosophy long before, but that just." That was my thesis. That solidified Your thesis. for me. Yes. Dr. Kane Hackman Dr. theory. Dr. Checkmark. PhD. The Kane Hackman theory. Also in PCU. <laughs> Had Gene Hackman and Michael Kane in the same movie, man. All right. No one's seen PCU. Let's move on. <laughs> it's been a long so time, dude. So do not wear the shirt of the band you're going to see. Unless you come you come running in and you buy that shirt at the concert at the venue. Throw it on over oh, yes. the top. Absolutely allowed. Yes, correct. Absolutely allowed. Yes. Well, that was it. Anybody want to add to that list? Anybody want to amend that list? Or just tell us to fuck off? Yeah, go, let's go fuck off. Comments, please. Comments. Uh, there is one more, which... I, 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 I don't, don't know of one more. We didn't talk one. about one more. The hat. Oh, the hat. The backwards hat rule that uh, apparently I mentioned to you sometime long ago, and I don't recall it. So you're going to have to refresh my memory on what I said. It's I, been, what, 15 years? I believe so. And I believe oh, the sorry, first time... Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Oh, yeah. oh, oh yeah. please. Sorry. Backwards hat rule. Bro. Go. Bro. Bro, you're you're breaking the rule right now, man. Oh shit. Fuck. Yeah, oh, thank you. Sorry. Sorry. We sorry. will discuss. Okay. So sorry. Go. I just remember specifically at a metal concert. I believe it was metal only because we had talked about our general concert rules. Okay. But metal only. Yes. You're like you got to throw a hat on and it's got to be backwards because you got to be aerodynamic <laughs> for the mosh pit. You said something to that effect. Stupid like that. And in my thirties, I agree. With the concept of hat and even backwards. Okay. Except for a certain age group. Once you turn the age that you're tucking in, spin that fucker around. Okay. Just spin it around. You wear a hat. Fine. Don't don't turn that shit backwards, bro. And what age would you think that would be? Considering we we've talked about when the tuck happens, let's say forty. We'll we'll make it forty. So it's allowable. Up to forty. So if I wore a hat backwards yes. at a show, yes. I'm breaking my own rule. Yes. I'm, I'm, I'm open to subject, su- suggestions, YouTube world, because we need, we need comments. We That's need why we need comments. Help. We need feedback. There, there are some things. Being a single non-father, I, I would be cool with you wearing a hat backwards. Because you, ha- you have not taken it upon yourself to... Um, be necessarily a model or a role for someone else or someone to look up to but so you can yes. still be a child you you've uh, you've set your life up to be a child <laughs> so be a child that's, that's what i say i'm sad and true i've done it to my life like i set my life up to pretty much be carefree and pretty light so that's i should be a, awarded the spoils of that we suffer a lot for that you know but that's a whole other that's show. another 17 pounds <laughs> we're not going to talk about that one but, but <laughs> But I think you could wear your hat backwards because you don't. You're not a dad, nor are you. You know, you're single. So that's a non-dad. sub sub rule. Yeah, it's kind of a sub rule. I mean, I think I think forty would would be the ultimate number. But I think being a single person without children at forty five plus. Thanks, bro. Plus. Well, I'm I'm forty five plus also. Dick number two. <laughs> that's the second time I've called you Dick. Shh. It's a tick mark. Shit. Richard, please. Ricardo. Um, but yes, so, so that's where we're How at. How do you say dick and check? Venus. <laughs> it's not vagina. I know that. <laughs> no, I had to say what? Just, it's fun to say. It is. It's fun to say V words. 
We words. We we words this. Wow, that's fucking tongue twister. All right, so black. Say tongue twister. Tongue twister. Tongue okay. twister. <laughs> so black, all black. Boom, yes, done. No collar. Fuck that. Yes. Uh, three was no tuck. Yes, sir. Fuck the tuck yeah. is actually the new fuck the tuck. Hashtag fuck the tuck, everybody. I don't even know if that works. Yeah. The tuck sucks. Oh, what, can we do PG? N- no. 13? And C14. <laughs> I don't even know. Is that a thing? It should be. Tuck sucks. Uh, okay. Okay. And then, and then don't be that guy. Uh, yes. Don't wear the shirt. The band you're going to see, the night you're going to see it. You go to the concert and you buy a shirt there, throw that shit over top. Right? But don't, don't come with it. Correct. Don't act all like, I remember Incubus from like 2008, bro. So you being at, uh, you know, outside in the pavilion of sorts, you know, bro. This is 2017. That's like nine years after when I got my shirt. I forgot about Incubus. And all, and all I said was, bro, <laughs> why are you wearing the shirt of the band you're seeing? Don't be that guy. That's all I said. At least she didn't, uh, fight didn't occur after that. No, it didn't. And then I said, well, you can add. And he subtracted 2017, 2008, he got nine. He was right. Like, well, that's math. Look, man, I'm not, I know where to fight my battles. I'm not dying on that hill. <laughs> the incubus hill. And then that hat back is whack when you're 40 plus, unless you're not a dad. Hat back is whack unless you're 40 plus and not a dad. Boom. Correct. Uh, that was the whitest rap I think anyone did. It was said. pretty. And I've listened to Ice Ice Baby. Close. It's pretty close to the whitest rap. That was correct. And on that note, let's wrap this fucking thing up. That was concert so rules, everybody. Specifically, a nap. Specifically, headbanging or metal metal concert. Head, metal headbanging. Rock rock, rock concert. Rock yes. concert. Yes. Because that so, should apply to that should apply to to most concerts, yes. if not all. I don't know if you want to wear black to a like, T-Swizzle concert, because that seems to jump off the second level. <laughs> I really think color would be different. Sure. Because you'd be like, I, I love T-Swizzle so much. I cut myself because it feels so good. Who's T-Swizzle? Tw- it's Twizzler's friend. <laughs> red Vines. Again, with the Red Vines jokes, ladies and gentlemen. T-Swizzle. <laughs> Do we, need to, we need some candy next time, bro. I think we need alcohol next time. Oh, because we can't have beer Googles without beer. Beer. Okay. Because we both have Googles on. Whoa. Pretty impressive. You're yes. I'm observant. Incredibly. Okay, so now that we wrapped it, let's yeah, wrap that up. Wrap it up, B. Questions, comments, please add to this list, people. If we get enough ads or changes, I think we'll readdress. We will. We will reconvene. No, fuck that. Okay, we'll okay, comment yes. at least. Yes, you know I, what? I'm kidding. Yes. We'll, we'll do an addendum. We'll do a episode two, part two. 2.1? Yes, 2.2. Two point <laughs> 2.2 is like uh, how many subwoofers on system? Point 0.1, point 0.2, point 0.0. What if you were some from Bratislava? Would you sound the same? I think all Eastern Bloc nations sound very, very similar. So you'd be Bratmark? Yes, but <sighs> I could be, but... Checkmark sounds Checkmarks. better. Checkmark's much better. I agree. I just wanted to say Bratislava. Bra- I could be Bratmark. <laughs> I could be Bratmark. Like, yo, what's up, bra? That's bra. not, but that's not very, no. r- you know, no. Russian accent-y. No. Um, no. Next. Next. All right. So, what is the second thing about which we are speaking, sir? Sports. I believe it's why we are dressed in such a beautiful attire. It's officially May 8th, Jersey Day. Yay us. Is that correct? No, I just made that up. Oh, my God. That's beautiful, man. Uh, it is. I, I beer Googled it. Gonna... It is officially National Jersey Day. That is really cool. I know. Welcome to National Jersey Day. Is it really National Jersey Day? Fuck no. That's perfect. <laughs> you know, if we say it enough times, seven times. National. I'm sorry. How many times? Seven, 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 Sibilance. seven, seven. Sibilance. Testes, testes. One, two. Sibilance. Three. So... Sports jerseys. What are the rules and regulations on which jerseys to wear at which events? I like this one. This is one. I had season tickets to the hockey team, to the, the local hockey team. The hockey team. Well, you know, I don't want to give away where I'm at, even though it has a position in all this shit that they know where we're at. But position the local hockey team. The PS. Plus, I also feel a little shame that I had season tickets for so many years for the local hockey team. But... When I did, I saw some pretty jarring things. Would you say you saw some fucked up shit? Yeah. <laughs> okay, go. Yeah. I, 
And hence the rules started. Well, they they were gradual at first. First, I saw some guy in a Phoenix Sun jersey at my local hockey team. Okay. And I went, bro. I just looked, and I'm like, bro. Bro. <laughs> this bro thing can't last much longer. I, I, it's I'm, phenomenal. I love it. <laughs> I'm just like going over. It's going over time. So I'm like, sir, we were at a hockey game. Why are you wearing a basketball jersey? He's like, well, I'm a sporting event, bro. And I'm like, bro, no. <laughs> no. So, rule number one for me? Yes. What, from what I saw? Yes. No wearing, cr- no cross sports affiliation. Okay. What this means, and you and I went to a game, sir. You and I went to a hockey game together. Would I, you like at, to, our, at our local, at our local our hockey local establishment? <laughs> Would you like to set the scene of what you saw and how we reacted and what I said? Fucking, it's like team dipshit over there. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, my God. So we were like, what, in the 12th row of the upper deck? Yes, sir. I believe it's E. No, I believe it was in E10. I think it was the one that e- oh, fuck. we had really close seats, if I remember correctly. We were behind the goal. I believe so. I think we are very close. Okay. That's better than I remember, but sure. So, what, five rows in front of us? Yes, sir. Senor Dickface kept standing up. And he's wearing. And, and what was he wearing, sir? He was. I'll get to it. Oh, he was. Sorry. He was wearing a very specific. Thank you for the softball throw. He was wearing a teed up sucker. He was wearing a very specific jacket of another sport, which some people may not even consider a sport. And what was that? I. Well, no, you know what? Don't tell us the sport. Would you like to tell us the number and the emblem on the back? I don't fucking remember the number. Do you remember the emblem? The emblem? Because I yelled it out. The, <laughs> he, <laughs> check mark, <laughs> yelled out many times that evening through all three <laughs> periods of said local hockey team <laughs> as I point towards the stadium, which is that direction. It is that in that direction. That's correct. Yes. Right. And way in that direction, yeah, by way. the way. So, the, <laughs> it's an oil company. Yes. It, Sit down, Valvoline. He was wearing a Valvoline jacket. He was wearing a mother effing Valvoline jacket. Valvoline. The oil of, of Valvoline? Come on. So I, this gentleman, uh, Mr. Dipshit the third, was yeah. wearing a NASCAR jacket. Not only. Yes, sir. He had... The same representation T-shirt underneath. He did not, and the cat, and the hat. Yes, I don't, remember, remember, the I don't, I don't remember the T-shirt. He was dressed to the nines, dressed in kill. NASCAR garb. He was wearing NASCAR. Was it NASCAR weekend though? It was NASCAR weekend. It was. Which I ex- does that excuse him yeah, in any we, way? We can talk about that. But I, I still can yell at him. He of still can he- wear it though. It, it, can I, think he? It, I think it's the exception when it's like the NASCAR because they came into town, right? It's not like he was wearing it on a local Tuesday in like July. July. Well, our local sports team doesn't make it to July in <laughs> hockey. Um, Aren't the playoffs over no, by then? They're probably, probably but even then it wouldn't. Let's get past April, sir, and then we can talk. We'll worry about that. <laughs> okay. That local hockey sports organization. Mm. Yeah, we just tangent into that. But uh, yes, it was it was NASCAR weekend. NASCAR so, weekend. I give it a little bit because I think, but I think it goes down to our tribalism that we talk about. Tribalism being you pick your group of people, which happens to be NASCAR at this point, and fuck all of the hockey team. I'm NASCAR. It's like the people who say, our team beat your team, my friend. That's what it says like. Bum, bum, bum. And where did you go? I'm looking at the screen and Christopher left me. I can't do it as slickly as you, by the way. There's there's no dead spot for me. I'm going to be crawling on my hands and knees. <laughs> and you're going to see just a panel what moving. What do you mean? Like, what the? Whoa! What are you doing, sir? You're going to be like Batman. Bruce, like, you look Batman. very good. Ooh, thank you so much. Uh, it's Jersey Day, bro. You got to mix it up. It's Jersey Day, bro. I'm wearing my, I'm wearing my Asamuga. Asamuga? As- Asamuga. Uh, bless you. He played for like a week. A week? With the team. I don't remember. Did he hurt his kneecap? So Perhaps a pinky toe? Did he call it a tow truck? <laughs> Turf toe? Yeah. Turf toe truck? Hi, Chihuahua. Um, so, yes, rule number one. Do not wear a soccer fucking jersey at a baseball game. Not that hard. What if you wore a soccer football jersey at an American football game? 
They're both football. No, because there's <laughs> rule number two. I'm just check. I know, but I'm just checking. You asked so that we could go into two. I think. No, I didn't. Okay, let's just let's just wrap it up on All that right. point. Yes. There's no crossing of the streams. Yes. In any sport. Yes. No if, basketball at the hockey, as you say. Right. Why would you no wear a baseball, baseball jersey at a football game? There's no baseball at the basketball. Correct. There's no football. Yes. At the NASCAR. Yes. Why would you go to a sporting event to show pride in another sport? Because you're nuts. Yeah. Humanity. Hashtag. <laughs> at its finest. So we're done. Okay. Now, that one's been beat. That horse has been beat to death. So what is there an exception to that rule? The only time would be the two sport rule. The two. What's the, what's the two sport rule? Well, I believe you you stated to me so eloquently. Oh, but if I, may, I do that a lot. If I may be a mirror for you, sir. Oh, sh- fucking a. Uh, I believe the two sport rule is an athlete, and I believe two examples we knew specifically in Bo Jackson and Deion Sanders. I uh, yes, sir. Who played two sports? So Bo Jackson played what sports? I believe he played baseball and football, and as well as Dion. Correct? Do you not? Did they not play both football and baseball? Those were both baseball. Football. Uh, because it was seasonal. It worked with the seasons. Yeah, I just forget which teams Dion played for. Wasn't he a Brave? He was a Yankee, a Brave, and I, th- and I thought he was a Falcon and a Cowboy. Was he a Niner? Po- yeah, possibly. Very sure, much. Whatever it takes. You know, there's a thing called the beer rules. <laughs> Okay, let's, just, can get more let's, drunk just, and let's think about Bo, because he was the yeah, first one. It's easy. He was a Raider, and running a, back. And a Kansas City Royal. And a Kansas City Royal. Correct. Okay. So if you were, okay, there's a preseason Raiders game. They're playing the Niners. Sure. Why not? Yeah. That's perfect. And you wear a Kansas City Royals Bo Jackson jersey, hockey, or baseball shirt. Baseball jersey. jersey. To that football game. To the football game. You were paying homage to Bo Jackson, not the hockey, not or not the baseball, nor the football. You're paying homage to Bo. And Bo, you can wear whatever you want. You play two freaking sports. The dude's a stud. Yeah. He's a stud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, But the one that gets me is, like, loving that you could wear a Deion Sanders Cowboys jersey at a Yankees game. That would be fun for me. Well, back in the day when he played for the Yankees, but he doesn't play anymore, so it's kind of all bets are off. But now you have to table it because he doesn't play a sport. That jersey should be tabled, unless you go to a, well, unless you go to a Kansas City game. I don't think you can wear a Bo Jackson Kansas City Royals j- jersey at a current Raiders game. Why not? Because it's he's Cause he no can... longer relevant, and really? it's not the sport. What if I want personal opinion, bro? Questions, comments. I don't below. know, man. Right I don't yet. know. Doesn't that? Do you think that's okay? I think I think being a two sport player like Bo Jackson is so legendary and so remarkable yep. that that should be valid for eternity. Yes, for Bo Jackson. Yeah, but not for you wearing a Bo Jackson jersey. Fuck you. Yes, it should. <laughs> what about? Oh, shit, we're going to break up. Are, uh, you, are you breaking up with me? Well, I have another question before we break up. What? Answer me! <laughs> <laughs> what does Checkmark think about this? Oh. Well, checkmark can barely say wow, Wolene. <laughs> if I could... I love the hard word whalers. The yes. Whalers, the whalers were really nice. Yes, but does Checkmark like Bo Jackson? Well... We ju- we just saw his first uh, his debut in college. Okay, this last week, uh, the Auburn. He was with Auburn. Yes, he ran for for yardage. <laughs> yes, <laughs> not, we do meters. I, I don't was, even I was know. Gonna say not meters. Yes, he ran for yardage. I don't even know conversion. You conversion. Know, do you know what a yard is? It's it's meter. How how many yards is your telephone cord? Oh, uh, many. Yeah, I don't know. So you, you <laughs> but it's seventeen running. meters. Yes, it's 70 meters. <laughs> but, which, which could be 75 yards. Long, meter longer than yard. Liter longer than quart. We know these things. That's all I know. I don't know how much, but longer it is. Ill regardless. <laughs> regardless of said things. Bo Jackson ran for many yards. I hope he has a good uh, professional career. Did, when he did he win the Heisman Trophy? 
Not yet. I just saw it first oh, game. Hey, dude. They just streamed it live. First game. They streamed it live? First game. On live. my cordless telephone. On my cordless telephone. <laughs> on my mobile. Yes. <laughs> on your <laughs> flip phone. Yes. I, I hope he wins the Heisman. Or, or I hope he has a good career in other sports as well. Other sports? I, I don't know. I heard what, he's going to be great in basketball. I don't know what the future He's going to be the first African-American hockey player. Did you know that? That'd be cool. Yeah. But there already was one. Oh, shit. I can't talk about it. Oh, but it's G4. Sounds like, like, sounds like fewer. Oh, it's G4. Declassified. Okay, so Go anyway, just so you know. I was I hoping that Checkmark uh, could save our relationship, but it, it's over. So anyway. We can know. There, it's irrecon it's irreconcilable differences. Does Checkmark know a good lawyer? Um, well, we have Quickie. We know Quickie Divorce. Quickie Divorce? The worst. Okay. The worst. The worst. Get divorce. it right. The worst. Yeah. This is the worst. The worst. Check divorce court tonight oh. at seven. <laughs> <laughs> so I get what you're saying, and maybe people out there can tell us. You tell us. I think it's valid, man. If you go to a Royals game, can you? And you wear Raiders, Bo, Bo Jackson, Jackson jersey. I disagree. I think you might get beat up in the parking lot for wearing a Raiders jersey. I am not in Kansas, Kansas City. City. Like, oh gosh, sure, you betcha, guys. Come on in and join our barbecue. I think they're nice that people. That sounds like Minnesota, but okay. Well, yeah, sure, you betcha. Yeah, it's super. <laughs> okay, that was Fargo. So, I was way off. Fargo, Nightcrawlers, Mario G. Yeah, sure, you betcha. Okay. Yeah. Just plain funny looking. <laughs> you know it? No. How'd you get those license plates? No. I don't know. That sounds like William H. Macy, possibly. Perhaps. Okay. So we're done. That that one's good. It's, is it beat like, <laughs> vol beat like a dead horse? It's been beat. Wool beat. <laughs> wool beat horse. Fuck wool beat. Wool. So next rule. I don't remember. I'm going to tell you. Oh, thank you. So if you're at a game between, let's say, the... Uh, Colorado Rockies and the San Francisco Giants. Yes. And you see a gentleman wearing a Houston Astros. <laughs> that got shot down fast. You didn't even need to finish that sentence. So. I, I apologize. So. With one except with one ex two exceptions. Uh, 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 okay. What's the except? What's the first exception? Well, first of all, the problem. Well, the shit. Is that the two teams are playing are the Colorado Rockies. <laughs> okay. And the Giants. Okay. And the Giants. Let's just say, okay, fuck you. Let's so go. Fuck Houston people thinking like, okay, well, I'm a Houston fuck. fan going to a baseball game. Okay, man. let's go. Okay, fuck. Okay, I would draw that whole argument. Your Honor, you're at a Yankees Red Sox game. Right. And you're wearing a Marlins jersey. Right. No. Let's assume you don't get beat up. No. Why not? Because the Yankees are playing the Red Sox. Okay. You're, so it, it's kind of along the line of wearing another sport to the to a sporting event, right? It's my opinion that people like to puff out their chest and peacock a little bit. Like, of course. I'm better than you because I'm going to a barbaric hockey game with a football jersey on. Football meaning soccer. Let's not football, right? Soccer. Because it's a global sport. So I'm much more educated and much, know much more about the world than you. Oh, so it's true. like saying like you're you're basically telling me soccer trumps hockey because you're peacocking your soccer attire <laughs> at a different event. You're not supporting the event you're really going to. You're just showing how much of a douchebag you are. Peacocking your soccer. Peacocker is what we call peace soccer. You're peace socking. Sure. Peace socking sounds actually really good. It sounds wow. Um, so on that event, I also believe that wearing another team that is not one of the two teams playing against each other is that tribalism of saying, I don't care about either of you guys. Look at me being a, an Astros fan. Okay. I don't know why Houston's getting picked on so much. Can we, you said Marlins. Marlins fan. Well, I apologize. fuck no, Houston, let's go back. first of all. Let's go back to Marlins. Okay, let's go back to uh, Marlins. the Braves. It. Fuck, whatever. Who cares? Yeah, whichever one. A non-Red Sox Yankees. Right, but the reason... Ask ask yourself why is that person wearing that jersey? Is not to watch the game, it's to show everybody that he's not one of those two tribes. He's his I'm me, I'm special. And he knows he's not gonna get beat up because we're in a pretty civilized world. So he can be a douchebag <laughs> as an individual and get away with it pretty much. Sure. Now there are exceptions. 
What is that? If there was a Florida Marlins player that got traded or left as a free agent and went to either New York Yankees or Boston Red Sox, and you have the original Marlins jersey of that player who's there now, I accept you taking that. So because you're once again paying homage, playing homage or paying homage to the player, not the not the. So Giancarlo Carl. Stanton, that used to play for the Marlins, yes, and it's now a Yankee, yes. So you're going to wear Stanton's Marlins jersey at the Yankee game is acceptable. That is correct. What? And there's one more exception. Oh fuck! But wait, wait, there's, there's more. more. No, I'm not done with God that shit. Damn yet. it, Christopher! Fucking. Ooh. Why do we have to be so? Uh, I, I just have a problem. I have a slight. I mean, it's like it's a little bit. I'm I'm listening. I just have a. I mean, yeah, you're you're at the Yankee Sox game and Stanton's on that team now. You're wearing a fucking Marlins jersey in the Bronx. You're wearing a Stanton jersey in the Bronx. That's the way I see it. You're it paying says Miami play, on it, dude. But the bro, bro, bro. Does it say? Well, yeah, Carlos Stan on the back because they have names. Yankees don't. I know. So you have to be a very educated uh, baseball player if a Yankee person leaves the Yankees and you have that jersey, making sure you wear it to the correct team, right? Yes. What number is there? A current is there someone who left the Yankees and went to another team? Yeah, a million. Give me, a, give me some of you might know. Uh, Off the top of your head, you might not know them or whoever, but they don't have names on the back, right? No, sir. So you need to know the number. Yes, sir. So there's it. It adds to the interest in that sport that you're that educated to know, of course, and that other people that watch the sport with you are educated enough. Yes, sir. So there's a little bit of self, you know, accountability. Yes, sir. Oh, but but anyway, your point. That was my point. Is that how the fuck can you wear a Marlins jersey to a Yankees game? So you don't agree with that. I have a I have an issue with it. Okay, that I, and I get Stanton, it. Stanton, yeah, Stanton's now on the Yankees, and that's just an example of a player, right? <sighs> Not sure. I that's I understand that you're that's your exception, and I just have an issue with it. Change our mind, people. Change our mind. <sighs> we need comments. We need help. It's fucking horseshit, is what it is. Now I, but that, but that's the truth. And like, I'll be honest, because I'm a hockey fan, and Jeremy Roenick played on three of my favorite teams and I have one of them from only one of those teams that he played but when he was playing I'd wear that jersey to the team he was currently on it wasn't the same jersey but it was to pay to be like I'm a Roenick fan yeah not to show anybody that I'm a different fan I just wanted to show I'm a Roenick fan yes because I could have worn the the team that was playing or I could have worn something else you know yeah completely different Hat, hat backwards with a black shirt. It's funny how concerts and sports are different, aren't they? Yes. Don't wear the shirt of the band you're going to see. Yes. Wear the shirt of the team you're going to see. Yes. That's interesting. I just, that just that literally just popped in my head. I I'm an idiot for not noticing that. So I wouldn't say you're an idiot. Well, you know, a lot of people would. No, I but, disagree. <laughs> <laughs> the dreaded R word, ladies and gentlemen. We didn't. Oh, I didn't say it. Bro. Shredded our I can't edit that out, sir. Yeah, I don't, self I, editing. I, self I said it. All right, so now I, I get that. Now the second part of that would be because, like, hockey has a national team, like a USA team, basketball team USA. If you went to a Lakers game and you had a USA LeBron jerseys, yes, Le- LeBron James jersey, yes, you can wear that. But you couldn't wear that to on, to a NASCAR. Or no, football. no, you can't okay, cross. Just, yeah. Okay, that no. go, I'm just... And then you couldn't wear that to a game LeBron was not playing in. Correct. Cross sports, first of all, trumps So all. LeBron has to be playing. So Correct. if LeBron is no longer a Yankee, let's say he's Utah Jazz, yes. you could wear that then. You can wear it universally in any team he's playing. on. Correct. So you could have worn it when he was with the Heat, the Lakers, the Cavaliers. What happens if you wear that to a golf tournament? Well, that's cross sport, bro. We already... Wear okay, so what happens... If LeBron is playing in a charity golf tournament, I I'll accept it because like Jordan it. Jordan went yes Jordan played golf yes Jordan pl- tried to play baseball yeah not well but he tried yeah. right okay I I will accept that okay. how do you feel about that I would agree okay I think I I don't think we we're gonna die in that hill sir 
Uh, any hills. Oh, no hills. No deaths. We're, let's stay alive, sir. Yay! Yay! Yay, not dying. <laughs> oh, dear Jesus. So, yes, you can wear a team. You can wear a freaking uh, Miami Heat LeBron James jersey at a pro-am that he's playing it. Sure. Okay. Fuck it. Fuck it, eh? Not a Canadian pro-am, sir. No. No. What? <laughs> Just kidding. I have no like, idea. Fuck, fuck, fuck it, eh? Blame Canada. Blame Canada. Okay. So, that those are the two exceptions to that rule. Okay. But generally is, hey... If you're going to the Lakers versus the Clippers, don't wear a Golden State Warrior jersey. It's not that fucking hard, people. Not that hard. Okay. Unless that player that you have of of whom you have the Golden State Warriors jersey was traded or free agent to the Clippers or Lakers and is currently playing for that team. Yes. Okay. Does check mark like golf? Uh we like Frisbee. <laughs> Frisbee golf. Fro- Frolf, I believe, is it called? Yes. New game. Huge in Czech. Huge Czech, Lowakli, Czech Republic. <laughs> yes. Slovakia, not so much. Really? Yes. So you beat their ass in Czech, the little... Oh, yes. Okay. Czech, Rep- Czech Republic is to Slovakia like what the Dominican Republic is to Haiti. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah. Fuck you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Slovakians. <laughs> I have no idea. I'm sorry I fucking asked the question about... You can't about call me racist because they're white. Frisbee golf. I'm so sorry. Frolf. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm expert. Yeah, of course. Expert for frolf for. Frisbee golf, mobile phones. Mobile... F- well, very long court to be mobile. Yes. But, yes. Okay. Mobile. I'm sorry. Okay. Fuck off. I'm frolf. S- frolf. <laughs> I'm sorry I asked. Ultimate frolf. Oh, you're yeah, it's awful. Dude. Okay, y- nice anything started. else on that? No, I think those two are good. Are Thank we on three? God. Uh, we talked about two-player sports. Two-player sports, yeah. We talked about sports crossovers. Yes. No NASCAR at the basketball. Yeah, Valvoline. Hey, Valvoline, sit down. And we talked about uh, how the Giants should never play the Rockies or each other <laughs> ever. <laughs> and we also talked... It, even though they're in the same division, I Yeah, think? fuck both yeah, of them. All 19 play. games they play against each Welcome. other. And uh, we talked about how the Marlins should never go to the Bronx. <laughs> sure. Fuck that. Yeah. There's okay. no fishing up there. So I have a couple of extra side tangents. Oh, really? You did touch on one. Okay, really quickly. Yes, sir. If we may. No. These are current. Before these, before these new surprises come to me. Yes, sir. This is what we have, gentlemen, ladies, germs. <laughs> Look, listen to us. Disagree. Tell us that we're fucked up. Fuck. Give up. us better rules. Add them, amend them, whatever. Yeah. Get rid of them. Delete them. Yeah, all that Fuck shit. Fuck them. We don't need them. Yeah. So please leave questions, comments. And now I'm ready for you, sir. Okay, so you touched, you actually stole a little bit of my thunder on this part. And I know it's good, that's good, because you've already, because it's fucking horrible how we think the same. So. <sighs> it's horrible for everybody else. It's for you and I, it's glorious. <laughs> so. Who listens to this, it's fucked. That's a big fucking deal. So. <laughs> baseball teams with jerseys with no names. Yes. Yankees, Giants, yes. the home Red Sox. Penn State, USC. Yes, also. Who else? Penn State, USC are the two big ones. They used, Notre Dame used to, right? But now they do names. I think they do names now. Who? Notre Dame. Didn't they used to not, but I think they do now. They do. I've seen names on the back. Yeah, they do. But correct. Penn State and, no, and USC specifically do not. Correct. Penn State during the controversy, during the Sandusky Fucking crazy. And then one for one year, for this, two years, two or three. Yeah, yeah just they did to honor the to seniors. honor the ones who stuck around. Correct, that's and that's correct. cool. I I respected that. I agree one hundred percent. I believe they needed to be recognized for them sticking to themselves. Correct. Even though the the university and the head coach, the old head coach, that's amazing. That everyone talks about who shit doesn't stink. Those guys are all fucking assholes and bastards about it. Because it's not about the the university. It's, it's about, about the kids. kids. Yeah. It's about the kids. I, yeah, I agree. Sorry, I got on a little tangent there, but like I, I'm very passionate do. about any child abuse. Bunch Fuck of horse. Yeah. Fucking dick. Right. Fucking dick. Dick number three. And yeah. We Your battery's have. running low. Oh, shit. Please plug in your PC. Uh, What are you doing down there, big guy? Uh-oh. <laughs> you just... <laughs> that was fast. Was that, good? was that good for you? I work well. Oh, apparently you do. I'm going to need a nap and a cigarette. 
Mm. I'm going to need a mint. I'm going to need a mint and a toothbrush. <laughs> you need a nap and a cigarette. I need a fucking power wash and a fucking back. That Helen. <laughs> All that pineapple, man. So. Well, it definitely wasn't oregano. I can tell you that much. Fuck that shit tastes sweet. like bleh. Not from experience. <laughs> That's so what I was like. Well, uh, from experience, so but yeah, not from. Uh, stop talking. So, none of this. Experience. Teams with no <laughs> names on the jerseys. Yes, sir. Gay check. So, how do you feel about a fan of the Yankees that gets a number two Jeter jersey and gets Jeter on the back? Oh, absolutely not. Why? When you choose a team for which you want to play. For which? For whom you like to play. Whatever it takes. <laughs> you go into the you go into their contractual agreement. You remember when Randy Johnson had to shave? Yes. Boom. You have now officially No, this is the this is a correct. fan. Right. But as the fan of the team, you take on the T's and C's of that team. You are now you need to other than shaving, because you're not playing for the team. But right. you can't that is a bastardization of the of the jersey of the purity of what it's designed to be. Bastardization. I don't. I love third jerseys and all that kind of stuff. I think that's really cool, but um, I don't think that you should make your own jersey. For example, I'm not really a big fan. We did. Oh, we forgot one about the sports jersey. We'll talk about that one in, in a second. But um, yeah, if the jersey's not supposed to have a name on the back, why would you have a name on the back? Are you going to show that one? Because we need to show the world this. I really don't want to. So we're going to need you to stand in front of the camera and just turn slowly. I really don't want to. But but we're not calling anyone out by name. And it's not you. This You did not purchase. This is a USC jersey. Does anyone see a problem with this? Anyone? Bueller. Bueller. Sir, I know you know this, so I'm going to let you chime in because this is this is your uh, jersey that you decide to wear. What do you What do you want me to say, man? <laughs> well, tell us what the problem is. Dick number four. What's the problem? The problem is I'm going to cry, dude. Is it because Matt Liner just didn't make it? No, or? I'm okay. like okay, fuck, <laughs> you fucking asshole. Okay, first of all. I'm the only Leinart fan because he went to my high school and he went to SC and he won the Heisman and I'm the only Leinart fan and I think he could have been decent if he had a good O-line. Ill regardless, let me finish. I'm going to agree with you. <sighs> I'm sorry. Oh my God, we just got back together. He's still my heart. I love you, man. Ah, Mira. So, Mira. <laughs> if he didn't break his collarbone and he had a Average or above average old line, I think it could have been fine. Anyway, sure. that's a fucking tangent. Well, we could probably, Jamarcus Russell probably could have been fine with the right. Yeah. Eh. In the, well, in the right place. Uh, per, Yeah, perhaps. But I think every team has to catch lightning in a bottle. I don't think anyone's just that great. Like, save, I think there's greatness, and I think everyone else. That's really how, I don't think there's a bunch. Of me, but regardless of all that. Wow, we got off on a real tangent. Well, that's your fault. Okay, so. So what's the problem? How, how do I know that's a liner jersey? Because it's got his fucking name on the back. The, it, and, and, what, to, and what what kind of jersey is that, sir? I fucking hate you so much. So it's a Southern Cal jersey, and I'm, I'm I'm a USC fan, born and raised there. And if you rewind like a couple minutes, I believe there are two, at least two teams in college that don't have names on their back. Is that correct? Yeah, sir? Southern Cal and uh, Penn State, and there's several others, and I can't think of them right now, but USC has never had names on the backs of their jerseys. So the 11 was Pat Hayden, you know, big USC Flippity guy. flop floppity do. I get, yeah, I a, bunch of, a yeah. bunch of famous number 11s at USC. Yeah. So um, Matt Leinert's name was never on the back of a jersey right. at USC. Correct. Ever. Right. So this jersey is... In violation. In violation of the purity of Southern Cal and of college football. And However... The person for uh, who purchased it for you, yes, was not aware. Correct. That's correct. So, out of the kindness of your heart, you kept the name on. I would think. Uh, yes, it was. It was it, correct. And it was a gift. It was a gift, and it was meant. There was no ill 
Intention? That sounds terrible. Yes. Inten- there was, was no ill will. Mal- yes. Intention? Malice. Yes. It was, it was, it was, ma- it it was not malicious. Correct. The means. gift was made of love and, you know, you're an SC fan and, you know, Matt Leinert's my dude and blah, right. blah, blah. Right. So, fuck, I'm exhausted. So I'm good, though. So you're absolved, sir. Look at, watch. Let me, let me do this thing in a little holy water. Flippity, flippity, flippity. Fucking Jack Daniels. Uh, wow. <laughs> holy Jack Daniels. Um, so you're absolved. I don't feel like it, but thanks. But let Rick. this be a lesson to you all. If don't you fuck you ever this. get a USC or Penn State jersey and you put a name on the back, there's a special place in hell for you. <laughs> special place is it the 11th layer of hell <laughs> i think dante talked about it so to go back to the jeter jersey of the yankees yes no name no no na- so giants home jersey no nope. because the the giants away jerseys that's have fine. names. that's acceptable that is within the parameters but the of yankees the- away do not right. right so no yankee jersey is allowed to have a name correct no exception no exception because those are the rules as is. Okay. And your grandfather. So if that changes, you can't still get a Jeter 20 years from now. If, say they start putting names on the back, you can't get a Jeter number two. Only going Only forward. from this place where they started allowing okay. that. Okay. And that's very important, by the way. And I, I just came off with another one that came up after Please. that. If I may. Sure. Some people get throwback jerseys. Yeah. In the current style. Of the hockey jersey. They don't Mitchell and Ness it. If you're going to go vintage, if you're going to get an old school jersey, go go to one of those the, the people that can get the original cloth and the colors. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, this is an Eagles jersey that's like old, like a newer jersey. I think it's their third one, the black, whatever. Ron Jaworski did not have this. Why, why uh, did I get yeah, this that's, Ron Jaworski? That's a very good point. A very good point. And that's beyond honoring the team, the player or whatever. If you're going to get a Jaworski, get that Kelly fucking the green, green with the fucking the white, white and the, with the, right with the silver. silver. Yes. yes. Yep. That's my personal opinion, but that's another one. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. I like that a lot. Yeah. Thank you. Um, Thank it, you. To, to Mitchell and Ness. They're actually out of Philadelphia, I think. Fucking they hell. Make, of course they, they make the jerseys in like the original fabrics of the original. Well, oh, you know what I heard about them? Pretty amazing. With every jersey, you get two... Cheese steak sandwiches. You serious? For reals. On Jersey Day only? or Only on Jersey Day. So <laughs> fucking today. today. Get Shit. your orders in now. Well, we're publishing this tomorrow, so. Oh, well, fuck. 2021, ladies Next and gentlemen. Next year's bitches. Once, once COVID, <laughs> COVID one-niner is, uh, is lifted. Kavod. Kavid. <laughs> so, uh, to piggyback off the Jersey Derek Jeter shits. Yes. What about the personalization of any Jersey? Can I get that's can what, I get my nickname? Can I get Bubba thank you. on the back of a jersey? Two words for that? Yes, sir. I believe the first one's fuck. <laughs> and the second one's no. <laughs> Not there's n- one. There's one one that I accept, and I think you can do it in all sports. I think you're allowed to have one. Okay. In the stadium in every sport. Yes, sir. Go. Double zero? Mm-hmm. Beer. What about whiskey? Beer. Oh, whiskey. I'll accept whiskey. Taco? How do you spell whiskey? I need to know before you can. The way, the, the correct way. How's the correct way? The, the, on the way that Jack Daniels Bottle spells it? No, sir. Oh, no E, sir. No E. Sorry. We're gonna, that's its own podcast. How to spell whiskey. Oh, dear Jesus, fuck. It's a joke. That's not its own podcast. We're just going to cover it now. Okay. No E. W-H-I-S-K-Y. That's okay. how you spell whiskey. Okay, great. You talked me into it. Questions, comments, at the bottom. I know that I'm going to get shit on for that one. I don't. Okay. W-H-I-S-K-Y. Sure. Beer, whiskey, weed. I love- it's, but it's got to be double zero and some some uh, impairment. You know what you can have in Colorado? Colorado, Colorado Rockies jersey. Double zero psilocybin. <laughs> <laughs> I love the weed one. Psilocybin dude. mushroom, right? Weed double zero, beer double zero. Oh, shrooms. With shrooms double zero. Oh, but that's dude. what psilocybin is. Shrooms. Well, did you know that? Colorado. Has to be shrooms. Did you know that? No, I didn't yeah. know that. So Colorado passed law that uh, psilocybin mushrooms are legal. So psychedelic mushrooms are legal in the state of California. So Colorado. You can wear shrooms double zero. Yeah. The state of Colorado has legalized psilocybin mushrooms. Psychedelic, psychotropic mushrooms. 
I don't not like fungus, dude. I know, but that's why I got to put it in a tea or something. Hold my nose. I can't. I I don't know. Why don't you I've just never done swallow it. Swallow. So. Just like yeah, like, just swallow like like my head. Yeah, probably. It's probably how I probably. do. Probably hold my nose. Probably. Probably. But I I do other stuff. Bro. I do other stuff that's not that's legal. My well, stuff's legal. Sh- whatever. In our I don't state. care. I have chronic pain, people. Chronic. Pain. Sure. Yeah. Chronic. Get it. Chronic pain. Stop talking. Oh my god. I want that voice to do the next promo. There is no data only Zool. So, there is no... I can't put Woodsy. I can't put... Like, you can't put your favorite number, 47. At a bachelor party, if you want to have baseball jerseys and you want to have brides, you know, grooms and, and best men with Woodsy on it, sure. What about his and hers? Sporting event? No. What about... Fuck no. Like, he's number one, she's number 99. His and hers, Mr. Mrs. I will make... This is completely off the top of my head. This is why we need you, America, to tell us America. how to straighten this out. Fuck yeah! The wife of a player at the game can wear the jersey of his team, current, his number, but his or her, like, what about, his on it. Could it be like Mrs. Ronick? Yeah, Totally. Total. I'm totally fine with that. Gotta but be what if like one. some chick is in lust with with him? Well, then she it. needs to seek psychiatric help. <laughs> oh shit! But could it say Mistress <laughs> Brunick? Uh, ho- you have to stitch. Hopefully, on top of that. hopefully, Mrs. The yes. soon to be Mrs. S. X. Yeah. Ronick. Ho- hopefully. Okay. Miss Ronick or to be maybe on the bottom, under just underneath it, Mrs. Ronick to be. Give me half a shit. Well, man, that was that. That threw me off. Yeah, I'm, I'm totally confused by that one now. So no, no, his and hers. It, it it's spinning the face of the other rules. It's the other fucking rules are, stupid. The rules, rules are, are look, sir. The rules look, are the rules. The rules are there for your protection. <laughs> Why? From so we don't get beat up. So we don't get verbally. <laughs> So we don't get bullied. So we don't get chastised so get by you if you're wearing a Valvoline jacket. Valvoline, sit down. Sit down, Valvoline, at our local hockey establishment. Establish arena. Arena. Thingy. <laughs> so no no Bubba's. No, no Bubba. No. Beer. Okay, double zero only. And it has to be an impairment of your choice. An impairment. What about like Coke? Not cocaine. No, no. Coca-Cola. <laughs> I accept cocaine. Not cocaine. I accept cocaine, weed, <laughs> heroin, oh, opioid, oxy. <laughs> you can say oxy on the back, double zero oxy. Oh my god. What about like O one Demerol? <laughs> DMT? MDMT? Or just so Molly? Give me Molly double zero. What about no, the number one the name. and Molly? Why can't it be number one? Number one ecstasy. The old, okay, I am going to add to this to this list. I thank God. You can wear a number one, yes, but the name on the back has to be Juan. <laughs> J U A N. What about one taco? Then it looks like taco. Because I'd rather have a taco than an ecstasy pill. No. Okay, let's let's. Tr- it's all going out the window. Beer double zero. That's it. What about Chimichanga? And I know beer double zero. Beer double zero used to be at our other local hockey establishment. Yeah. We're going to call them the runners that were on the road? Yes. So they're running on the road? Yes. <laughs> right. Just like that. Right. And we had a beer double zero. And right. he was the guy that stood behind the goal and went, He shoots. He scores. Hey, goalie. You suck. You suck. We won. We won. Fucking drunk. something like that. Yeah, yeah, that would because he was zero. wearing a beer jersey, and like it was twenty dudes that all, all huddled together. But they had like this little captaincy. It was like a whole group of them, almost like uh, like I respect the military, so I don't want to make light of that. But like private and sergeant beer and private beer and major beer, they were all double zero. General beer. disarray. <laughs> major major anxiety. Major asshole. So I'm surrounded by assholes. I couldn't get chimichanga on jersey. I don't. I think we have to stop at food stuffs. How awesome would chimichanga be? Yeah, but how awesome would a guy find a player whose last name is chimichanga and you can I, solve Do you think he exists? Chimichanga. Should I change my last my name? name? Juan, what if it was Juan Chimichanga? Oh God. 
He's my idol. He's my hero, dude. You can get a number two jersey if you write poop on the back. <laughs> and you can have a number one jersey if you put we or P on. Oh, no. IP this freely? Number one, we, we, O-U-I, O-U-I. Number two has to be poo-poo. Poo-poo. So, and you have to wear them together then. Wee wee. Then that is the only way his and hers will work is if we, we, and poo-poo go together as that one and two. It's phenomenal. Teaching. Are we putting a bow in that? I love it. Okay. All right. Do we have anything else? We have our last one, sir. Okay. Is this a surprise? Is this one of the surprise? Really? Okay. So I'm gonna have to ruminate on this. You're gonna fucking love it. Okay. Yes, yes, Mr. Reiner. Fuck you so hard. It's not my fault, bro. And we're not blaming that person. That person's lovely. It was a beautiful gift. Yeah. Okay. Thank you to that person. I hate you so much. So (laughs) you hate you. That fucking not them, not you guys. So you guys are the awesome. last of the jerseys is fictional teams. Fuck. Like like Space Jam. No. Yeah. Fuck Space Jam. You wear a Space Jam Jordan jersey, whatever okay, the fuck you want. Like the Cleveland Indians <laughs> from Major League. Okay. Could you wear a, a Vaughn jersey? Oh uh, sh- Oh, the Hansons. But the Hansons that's played on from, different hockey teams. That's, that's from, from Slap, Slap Shot. Shot. Yes, yeah. exactly. But they were different. They were its own entity. It wasn't. Part but you team. could get a slap shot jersey. That's a really good. What anybody from Major League? I will accept the exact year of the year it was made in that material, like Mitchell and Ness style. Like you can't get a brand new off the rack jersey and ask to put from the Ricky r- Vaughn on it. It's it's got to be from the year that the movie it was It can't made. be a button-down new Cleveland Indians jersey. It's got to be the pullover. It's got to be the one from whatever. whatever year that that year 89? was. With that, the year yeah. that that was released has to be replica. It has to be like from a replica. With the right logo. Correct. Has and to it's got to be the right 99 Correct. Vaughn and, or anybody that. from that team. Yes, I will accept okay, that. Okay, what about um, Bull Durham? What, who? who uh, Crash Davis. You can wear whatever you want. You can wear whatever you... Because those aren't real teams, so they don't affect the sanctity of baseball. Right, but you're not actually cheering that team on and showing how you're uh, that team because they don't exist. Right. So you're more of a baseball fan if you're watching Field of Dreams, don't you think? Yes, sir. So That's Bull Durham, but sure. Oh, I'm sorry. I think Bull Durham as well. I think you'd be a baseball fan, right? Yeah. To, To a larger extent than not. So I would say that you would be allowed to do that, sir. You can get fictional ones because fictional ones, but you can't wear a fictional baseball. You can't wear a Bull Durham jersey at a basketball game. That would be See? ridiculous. No, but that's once again the 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 Trump the rule that Trumps all is no cross sports, except for two people that we know in the entire world that play two different sports. That's the only, the only one, and they don't even play anymore. So it's kind of moot, in my opinion. So even though it's fictional, you can't cross sports. Correct. Because it's still a baseball. Because what you're saying it's is. It's not a real team, dude. When you go to it's a hockey, not a real bro, fucking team. When you go to a hockey team. The Durham Bulls. Bro. bro. That is a real team. That's a bad example. The team from Slapshot, okay. it's not real. I'm looking at your current jersey. Can you share this with everyone? Fucking Stand up, Slayer. please. That's beautiful. That is the most beautiful thing. Question comments below. Please tell us how <laughs> fucking hot Woodsy looks. <laughs> now, th- now, this one can be worn anywhere because it is not. It is hockey style jer- shirt. Yes, sir. With Slayer. That is hockey style. But when you're talking a baseball team, a fictional team, they're trying to emulate a real baseball team. So it's, in my opinion, they're trying to keep the sanctity of the sport. So if you leave the sport, if a Bull Durham jersey of that fictional team. But the Bull Durham is a real, I mean, the the Durham Bulls is a real minor league team. Right. But you can't wear that to a hockey game. That's my point. I'm just saying. Okay, that, that's so what a you fictional have. team. Let's right, say, fictional team, same thing. Right, Could, if you go get a jersey from the movie Slapshot, which yeah, that's the not Chiefs. A, the Chiefs yes. is not a real team. Correct. They made that team for the fucking movie. Correct. If you're wearing a Chiefs jersey Correct. to a NASCAR, the fucking Brickyard 400, Why? I don't. It's a fucking hypothetical question, but dude. The, but you, this there is a reason though. There is a driven factor. The person wearing that jersey. Yes. Is determined to show NASCAR fuckers that hockey's better. That's why he's wearing it. That's the sole rule. He's, he's not, he doesn't have courtesy for the sport he's attending, in my opinion. It's my opinion that people peacock and like to show their tribe. So, what sound does a peacock make? They're out here, they go, 
What? Kind of like that. Just, we've got one outside. Shut up. Just, yeah, we've got a Lorenzo Llama, and we've got a we've Lorenzo got, Llama. We call him Lorenzo Llama. He's fucking awesome. He's right down the street. We got an urban. We got. I should have asked Checkmark to Checkmark Lorenzo Llama. He knew new show Renegade come out next season. Do next peacocks fall. take like chicken? No, Renegade coming out by Lorenzo Llama. Yeah, Renegade new show, brand new show yeah. in there in in uh, Czech in Czech list Czech Republic next fall. I'm Mark to do a cooking show and make some peacock tacos. Peacockles? Yes. Is that what you are? Are you asking for peacockles? Yes, I am. I don't know. How to Extra make. hot sauce, some Czech tortillas. Oh, I got a little. Um, I got a little feather in teeth. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, not good. <laughs> Disgusting. Not good. Um. So yes. So where were we? Honest. I don't know. Okay. So Lorenzo Llama. Peacocks. Fictional. Fictional teams need to still stay in their sport vertical. So you can't wear a fictional Chiefs to the golf tournament. Correct. Unless the Hansons are playing, you have a Hanson jersey and a pro am. Okay. I mean, look, we can that that see how that blossoms out. Pretty I understand, easily, right? So, if, well, but I, I think Newman you're full played. of shit. Well, I am. So, because <laughs> <laughs> it's not real, dude. Right. But it's not real. Kind of like this podcast. Why? <laughs> this is totally a dream. <laughs> We're gonna wake up and be like, "Is this what fucking happened for two hours?" What the fuck? <laughs> But no, uh, the, the thing is, you're still in the vertical. You're you're watching Bill Durham either because you're a Kevin Costner fan or because you really fucking like baseball. I really like baseball. Right. I'm watching Raging Bull because I like boxing or I like De Niro. Not yeah. really because of any other reason. Yeah. So why would I wear boxing De Niro boxing trunks to a fucking hockey game? I, I understand your point. That's all. I, I'm not saying I'm right, guys. I'm telling you what I feel. I just think that because uh, the the Durham Bulls is a real minor league team. Okay, so they stay in baseball. They're they're a baseball. But, so that's the, the fictional question. I th and, and the like Cleveland Indians. That's a real team. But Slapshot, right. it's a right. fake team. Correct. But I can't. I would never wear a Hanson Chiefs jersey. From Not the Kansas shot. City Chiefs. Not the Kansas City Chiefs. The blue with the yellow the blue, Chiefs. Oh, the, the fake hockey team. Yeah, the hockey the team Chiefs from the movie Slapshot. I would not. I would not wear the that. Phoenix Suns game. I wouldn't wear that to a Suns game. Goes to Suns game. <laughs> <laughs> not anymore. Yeah. You some to local, some other local establishment possible. Yes. To a St. Louis Cardinals game. There you go. Or you know. Yeah, I wouldn't do it to football. Game. I'd wear it to a hockey game because it's like, hey, it's hockey. We're all in this. So together. that's okay because the, the yeah. vertical. To your point. Yeah, it's a vertical. Okay. And 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 because it's fictional, you can wear a Hanson jersey to every fucking game. Okay. Obviously, they can't play each other. Okay. The Chiefs don't play. Okay. Chiefs. So what else we got? The Chiefs. What do you mean the Chiefs don't play? Well, the Chiefs. The other Chiefs. What if you wore a Chiefs jersey to the Chiefs game? The Chiefs are a fictional team. Remember. But what if they wore the hockey. Kansas City Chiefs? Well, no, that's well. You can't wear the hockey Chiefs to the Kansas City Chiefs. Why not? You know why not, sir? Well, explain it, fucker. Sir, because you're you're doing it right now. You, you're you, you're crossing particle streams. You can't do. You've already ruined the hockey vertical. You've already ruined the sport vertical. No hockey jersey at a baseball game, regardless, or football. So no Chiefs at Chiefs. It's not possible. My name is Chris. Could I be wearing any more clothes? Can I ask you a question? Sure. This is a. How's this for a curveball? There's like forty two. Alouettes or something in the Canadian football team. Ram, no, Rough Riders. There's like 15 Rough Riders out of 18 teams. I think teams. there's two Alouettes. Yes. Something, and I think Rough Riders won them too, where they have multiple. Yes. Can you, what if those two teams don't play? So you brought the other Rough Riders in. That's technically Rough Riders. It's a Rough Riders jersey. Oh, shit. Yeah, fuck that. Bro. Dude, the universe would implode. I think it would. I think it's like matter and antimatter colliding. Dude. That would be awful. You'd have to regrow your beard just to have that conversation. I would. <laughs> but just growing my beard would be a conspiracy in itself. Yeah, that, absolutely. It'd be shocking. Well, yeah. Well, that's been fun. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know a segue to get the fuck out of here. No but, uh, it, okay, so where are we at? So let's recap real quick. Sure. For all you at home and millions watching... It's Jersey Day. Man, we're right at one hour. That's like almost perfect. Almost perfect. This. Almost perfect, because I think we're going just a little over. But for those at home, sir, bring out the list. Oh, we're yes. at a concert, rock concert. What are we doing? Wearing black. Wearing black. Not wearing a collared shirt. Not wearing a collared shirt. Not tucking it in. Fuck the tuck. Tuck sucks. <laughs> Don't wear... <laughs> Don't... Oh, dear Jesus. <laughs> 
don't wear uh, the shirt. The shirt of the band you're going to see unless you got it that day. Don't be that guy. If you're over forty, don't wear your hat backwards. Thank you. You're welcome. Unless you're a gentleman who is unmarried and without children, I will accept that. What if you're married with no kids? You've taken the adulthood of marriage. The but adulthood got, of but marriage. Once you, but get a divorce, bro. It's much easier. Just get the and you can wear that backwards. Just fuck it. the point. Look, baby, I still love you. But I got to go to the slave show. But I want to wear a hat. And yeah. I like to wear it backwards. So here's and my in society, I now just turned 41. And I can no longer wear my hat backwards because I'm betrothed to you, my love. Betrothed. Get the fuck out of my house. I want to wear my hat backwards. Fuck That's it how man. it works. Not so hard. That's it. Okay, so that's it. So black, no collar. Fuck the tuck. Tuck sucks. Don't wear the shirt of the band you're going to see. Hat backwards. Hat backwards. Yes, sir. Sports. Sports. <sighs> Giants and Rockies blow. <laughs> Says the Dodgers fan. you damn right. Uh, do you like the local team as well as the second team? Absolutely or? not. They not can. at all. <laughs> okay. Cool. <laughs> Why didn't you say they blow? I feel like because I was trying not like to bring them up. The Rockies or the, definitely not the Giants. You hate the Giants. Yes, right? I do. Because they beat you a lot. Because I was raised to hate them. It's not my beat, fault. Because they beat you. A lot. It was my grandfather's fault. They won a lot of championships, sir, and you didn't win shit. Fernando Mania. <laughs> <laughs> Oral Hershiser. I, I do love the Oral. I'm Hershiser. Oh. The Bulldog. I like the Oral Hershiser. When it he regardless of the sports or rules, rules, fucker. Uh, only two teams <laughs> playing in the event. Yes. No so, jerseys of the Astros when the when the Braves are playing the Marlins. Correct. Unless unless somebody uh, got traded or free agency. Yeah, a player that was on the Astros, uh, of whom you have a jersey, is playing on one of those two cards. Yes, sir. That's correct. Not, that is very very perfect. I love that rule. Or or if you have a two sport player or national team, right? Yes. Or a national team, you USA, national Puerto team. Rico, if it's hockey, you know, Czech Republic. But no crossing of the sports stream, sir. None. 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 No Valvoline at Valvoline. the hockey. I don't want to see a goddamn polo shirt. Yes. At a rock concert. But I also don't want to see a polo shirt at a football game. <laughs> see how see what I did that? Yes. See what, I did there? what about a water polo, polo shirt? Oh shit. No. That only a skull cap. You can wear the cap. Oh really? <laughs> Because you look like a doofus if you do. So, yes, yeah. please. The more you look like a doofus, the better. So, if it makes you look dumber, I'm, I'm all for it. Yeah. I'm approved. Okay. Two-player sports. Two-player sports. Bo Jackson, rock star. If a two-player sport is currently playing, in my opinion, you can wear a different jersey of his sport to that to pay homage to Or her to sport. Or her sport. Yes. To pay homage to them. Agree. He, he, she, she, they, 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 J, J, whatever the all fuck of they the want. pronouns. G of them. All, all of them. Every, every single one of the pronouns. Let's not go down that road. Personalization. We're, we're done at that. Personalization. Yes. Uh, of the beer yes. double zero. That is all I will allow. I've, uh, I've locked it down. No bubbles no and no woodsies. No and no Sorry, jeters bro. on the teams with the no names on the backs. No names on the backs of jerseys that. Have no names like the Yankees, like Yankees, the Giants, Giants, like the Red Sox, USC, Penn State, Penn State. Red Sox. Uh, there's no football anymore. There, wa there wasn't. There's no hockey anymore. I don't think. I think I believe you're correct. Away. So it's I mean, it's a rare few, but that that but makes it even more I special. Like that. There's purity in that. But that makes it more special to not ruin what is trying to be tradition. Look, it's a nice thing. Done it for years. Totally Stick agree. With it. Totally agree. Anyway, and to yeah. wrap it up, the fictional teams. Fictional teams. Major League, Slapshot, yes. Bull Durham, Space Jam. A Ricky Vaughn jersey. Ricky Vaughn. Can be born if it's made by a company that uses the original materials of the year that the movie was made. A or I, two or three. I mean, don't get me wrong. If you can get, if you can't get the material from 89, but you can get it from like 93, you're doing Major League 3. Whoa. You could be doing Major League 2 uh, jersey. It could be different at that point. California Pina. Did they change? Speaking of... I haven't seen Major League in forever. Do they go from pullover to button up? No, it's 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 pullover on all. Pullover in the first. I don't know. Yeah, what they I wonder what the second one was. I maybe they changed. Maybe all of baseball had gone through a cultural change at that point. Why do I sound like this right now? I don't know, Walter Cronkite. So, what's our next podcast? I have sir? no idea. It's either going to be conspiracies, sure, or conspiracies about conspiracies. Conspiracy. <laughs> 
Your beard is too short, dude. I know I lost it, but I've got I've got good three conspiracies. Do you have a good three conspiracies of in course. yours? Okay, then we'll do six conspiracies. It's but not so hard. Talk me into it. Cool. All right. Well, thank you again for joining us to Beer Goggles episode Dos Dos. Happy Eggs. Jersey Day. Happy Jersey Day. May Ocho. Yes. Ocho de Mayo. All that shit. That is crazy. We've got Star Wars, Cinco, and Jersey Day all in the same week. What a great week. This has been a phenomenal week. It's been fantastic. It's a way to close it out. I know. Friday, all that May shit. 8th, 2020. Whew, what a beautiful day. going to be okay? Thank you so much, guys, for coming and watching us. But not, I hope not coming, actually. Oh, Thank you for just watching Cinco. us. Okay? Thank you for just watching us. When I was under the table earlier, I wasn't doing anything crazy. I love you. <laughs> Christopher loves you. Mm. We love each other. Big hugs. With big hugs. Hearts. Oh, hearts. Stop that shit. Let's big go. Big hugs. Wrap it up. Love you. Stop talking. Thank you so much. Shut Leave your questions, up. comments, anything else. We need more rules. We need amendments. 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 And we need deletions. And you guys have a fucking great day. Peace out. So weird. <laughs> if I am.